What I'm trying to say is that there's work that God wants to do in each of us, and he's not nearly done. So it would be good for us to take a little bit of inventory and just say, now, now what area of my life might be underdeveloped because I just don't understand it fully or um, because I think I'm right, but maybe there's a little bit more that I need to, to study. Maybe there's, uh, maybe there's a, a few things that, that uh, I, I, I am uh, either, either unsure about or maybe I am sure about, but either way, is there anything I could be open to learning about um, that God might, might want to show me? The danger, I think, for people in, in a church setting like this is that some of us might have been believers for so long that we, we sort of, we start to believe that, that maybe, maybe we pretty much know everything. And, and, and I think what happens in that moment isn't just that we uh, miss opportunities to be used by God. We miss opportunities to be changed by Him, blessed by Him, by having those ongoing, eye-opening, awakening moments that feel almost like conversion in a way. If you've ever had a paradigm shift where you had a strong realization about something and it really changed something for you, not just when you, when you first came to faith, that's a huge, huge paradigm shift, if I can call it that. That's a huge moment of, of awakening where the spirit awakens us to the truth and the reality of who Jesus is and all that God has done in sending his son. And we just, we receive that. We want, you know, the forgiveness of sin and the hope and the new life that God offers. But after that, what I'm trying to say is that there are also um, encounters and realizations, encounters with God and realizations from God through his spirit, through his people that we're supposed to be having over time. There's more for you is what I'm saying. There's more for us. If we're not open to that, you might say, well, for the last 30 years of being a Christian, I've been open to that. But I mean, after 30 years, I've got it, I've got it pretty well down, you know? And I would say, no, there's even more for you. Is God infinite or not? We'd all say, yeah, he's infinite. Well then, well, then there's more to learn about him. Until you've exhausted what there is to know about God, there's more to know about God. So I would just say, hey, let's all take the posture of humility. Even what we know, let me just speak for myself. Even what I know, I hold in what I call humble confidence. I'm always open to what God could show me, what, a, what another brother or sister in Christ could show me. I'm always open to that. Or at least I, I wanna be, I should say. I speak too highly of myself, I guess. I want to be open to what it is that God might wanna show me, to what it is that, this, that he wanna show me through the scriptures or what God might wanna show me just through the spirit, just as I'm driving. And then I have a, a realization. It could be a flashback to a conversation I had or a flashback to a verse that I've read or, or whatever, but I want to be open to, to, to the things that God wants to show me. The things that you believed, even if you, were, even if you came to faith like I did at five years old, the things that you believed growing up or the things that you believe now are all in the category of things that we should hold in humble confidence. There's not a single thing other than that Jesus is Lord that you should be holding um, without any, any openness to, to the spirit of God, to the scriptures, and even to the community of God as we evaluate those things.